Today we'll take a first look at the YOLO Box Pro from YOLO Live. This is my first impression. Kind of a feature list, what it can do, what it looks like, some of the things that might be beneficial for mobile live streamers. Let me start by saying this unit was sent to me by YOLO Live. I'm not being compensated in any way other than having it in my hands and being able to review it. There are a lot of folks who, like me, think simple is better when it comes to mobile live streaming. I'm one who, if I could take just a, a phone or a tablet, one camera, set it up and roll, I would. Or on the times that I can, I do. But there are times, and there are those of us, who want to level up our mobile live stream. Well, the YOLO Box Pro from YOLO Live may be the resource you need to take your stream to the next level. It is an ATEM competitor, and so there are some comparisons between the two products on YouTube, if you'd like to go and look at those. And the first time I ever looked at the YOLO Box, it was the original YOLO Box. There is now a YOLO Box Mini and the Pro. I saw all the wires coming out of it that are, are needed to connect to the cameras, and but my first impression was that was a turnoff. I don't want a bunch of wires that I'm having to run everywhere, but it takes away one of the points of possible points of failure when you wire your cameras. You can still go ahead and go live via Ethernet, so you can wire the entire Yolobox Pro into the system, or you can go live through Wi-Fi, or you can go live through the SIM card that you provide. From that point, from setup to streaming, it is truly simple. This is a simple is better kind of way to level up if you don't mind running a few HDMI cables or USB cables to get your cameras where they need to be. The Yellow Box Pro is an all-in-one recorder, encoder, and monitor. It is everything you need except the camera and the internet connection and even the internet connection can be built in if you have a SIM card that will fit inside this little machine. Now, the YOLO Live account that you can sign up for, which is free, by the way, does even allow multi-streaming to happen through this box and through this service. It is a battery-powered machine. It does have a built-in fan. That's really good news for mobile users. The battery life on it, though, is only going to be about an hour. Now, I'll be doing a test soon to see how much we can extend that with a simple 10,000 milliamp hour charging block. I don't know uh, how much more we'll get, but if we can get it up close to that three-hour mark, of course, we know we can do football and baseball games in a mobile, mobile scenario. It includes three HDMI inputs, a USB input and an SD card that can be used for pre-recorded video or music. Now when we talk about that one USB input for all of my Mevo users out there, think webcam mode and running your Mevo into that particular one. But if you're like me, there's an old point and shoot camera somewhere around your house that has an HDMI out that you can hook up and all of a sudden I have a 21x zoom to take my, my setup close into, that, into the action and be able to stream with an old point and shoot just based on this little box. For audio, it's gonna give us mic level and line level. Uh, that's gonna give us a, a much boosted level and a not so boosted level, depending on what we need in the scenario we are in. We said a minute ago, it makes use of a SIM card, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure, according to other reviews that I have watched, that your micro SIM card is for both data and phone. I don't think we'll be able just to take the SD card out of our MiFi hotspot device and stick it in here. It's gonna take one out of an actual phone. Screen that we see on this device has 400 nits of brightness and it is adjustable by pulling down from the top of the screen. This device runs on the Android operating system and so when you see yourself logging into some things, there'll be some very familiar parts if you're an Android user. It runs on a Qualcomm 660 processor. You can set up custom events through RTMP you also can stream to Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. And you, like we said earlier, can multi-stream if you run through YOLO Live's service first. The upload speed, the frame rate, and the percentage of drop frames are info you're going to get when you're live. 
And it's something like what you're going to see through OBS or through ProPresenter 7 if you are familiar with those, op with those programs. You have selectable encoding settings. That's really good because it can help you match your encoding, match your bit rate going out to what your upload speed is. It will stream from 480 all the way up to 1080. And you have, because of the device software itself, image overlays, timers, transitions, and scoreboards all built in to this machine. You can run pre-roll video via your SD card. You can run picture-in-picture -picture now that they've come out with the most recent software update. There's actually a chroma key for green or blue screen, so you can, you can set your background to something custom. You can monitor the comments on screen through either Facebook or YouTube as you're streaming live. Tech support looks to be very, very helpful as we uh, need things from them and the information they give is very timely. Everything we see here on the screen is resizable. Uh, this little scoreboard here, if we go into the scoreboard settings, we can change the size of it. We can, we can change the size of our video uh, windows once we get to live streaming. Uh, adding a video source is as simple as tapping here. It is all uh, touch and go, uh, and not in a bad way. It is, you touch it and, and it moves, uh, or, or you have a, a choice to make. And they have very well thought out and laid out how all of this fits together. You can simply plug in your camera. It will auto-detect. And if you're using this with a Mevo Start, remember you're going to need to be in webcam mode. Plug in your audio. The graphical user interface is very helpful in getting started. Sign into your destination and then you just got to press go live.